Hello and welcome. In this segment, we are going to talk about how to install an RSS feed. What is an RSS? Well, let's talk about that for a second. RSS stands for Real Simple Syndication. It's a format online to deliver regularly changing web content. Many news-related sites, weblogs, and other online publishers syndicate their content as an RSS feed to whoever wants it. Now, why RSS? Well, here are some benefits and reasons for using RSS. First off, RSS solves the problem for people who regularly use the web. It allows you to stay easily informed by retrieving the latest content from websites that you're interested in. You save time by not needing to visit each site individually. And your privacy is insured. Now here's the real advantage if you're a trader, is that you can be trading and have the news releases pushed right to you. Now we at FXDD continually update our blog well, if you have an RSS feed set up, these will automatically come to your web page. Interesting to note is now you can get RSS powered through My Yahoo and the Google Reader or iGoogle. Let me show you how to install those two so that you can see FXDD news updates all day long as they're released. Let's pull up the FXDD blog and I'll show you how to activate an RSS feed Okay, as you can now see, we've come to the FXDD blog. You also can access the blog at http colon slash slash forex.fxdd.com. What we're looking for is a small orange square. You can see it. I've got my mouse on it right here that says subscribe in a reader. What we're going to do is we're going to subscribe in a reader and select that button. And what you'll notice is there are numerous choices here for different readers. Let's go through the Google example. Most of these are almost identical and it's all very simple to do. We'll click on Google and it'll offer us two choices. One we can add to the Google home page or we can add to the Google feed reader. I'm someone who uses the iGoogle home page. Let's go in for example and add it to the iGoogle home page. We'll press add to Google home page and you can see now it's pulled up my iGoogle home page and Right along the upper left here, it has installed the FXDD Forex News Reader. And this is fantastic because I get news releases as they come out. Now, if you decide that you no longer want it, all you do is the X and it has been removed. Very simple. And you can do this in the uh, Yahoo homepage and any other tool that you decide to use. It's very simple and easy to do this. And especially if you're trading, maybe you're someone with multiple monitors, you can leave up this page and you can clearly see all of the news that you need to help make your trading decisions and then on your other monitor you can leave up your trading software you can click on any one of these and it will take you right back to the blog where you can get the full picture you can see the graphics and the daily videos that are released I hope you found this helpful and I hope you enjoy reading the news and information that comes from fxdd.com